While self-improvement is often portrayed as a journey of empowerment and success, it also entails confronting one's insecurities and flaws. This process can be uncomfortable, challenging, and emotionally taxing. In this video, we uncover the dark side of self-improvement by tackling 10 tough questions. Facing insecurities and flaws requires individuals to confront deeply ingrained beliefs about themselves, which may have been shaped by past experiences, societal standards, or personal expectations. This journey involves acknowledging vulnerabilities, examining limiting beliefs, and embracing discomfort to foster genuine growth. The pressure to constantly strive for self-improvement can lead to feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt. Comparing oneself to others or unrealistic standards can exacerbate these insecurities, creating a cycle of negative self-talk and perfectionism. Despite its challenges, embracing the ugly side of self-improvement can lead to profound personal transformation. By confronting insecurities and flaws head-on, individuals can cultivate self-awareness, resilience, and authenticity. They can learn to embrace imperfection, practice self-compassion, and ultimately lead more fulfilling lives. One, how can I differentiate between healthy self-improvement and harmful self-criticism? It involves recognizing the intention behind the actions. Healthy self-improvement focuses on growth, self-awareness, and personal development. While harmful self-criticism tends to be overly harsh, negative, and damaging to self-esteem, healthy self-improvement involves setting realistic goals, practicing self-compassion, and embracing mistakes as learning opportunities. Whereas harmful self-criticism often leads to feelings of inadequacy, perfectionism, and self-doubt, Two, what are some common insecurities and flaws that people often face during their self-improvement journey? They include fear of failure, low self-esteem, body image issues, imposter syndrome, perfectionism, comparison to others, and negative self-talk. These insecurities and flaws can manifest in various aspects of life, such as relationships, career, personal goals, and overall well-being. Though, how do insecurities and flaws impact our mental health and overall well-being? They can lead to feelings of anxiety, depression, stress, and low self-esteem. Constantly dwelling on insecurities and flaws can affect our self-confidence, relationships, and ability to pursue our goals. It can also contribute to unhealthy coping mechanisms, such as avoidance behaviors or self-destructive habits. Four, what are some effective strategies for confronting and addressing insecurities and flaws in a constructive manner? They include practicing self-awareness, challenging negative thoughts, seeking support from trusted individuals or professionals, setting realistic goals, practicing self-compassion and forgiveness, focusing on strengths and accomplishments and engaging in activities that promote self-care and personal growth, such as mindfulness, therapy, journaling, or creative expression. Five, how can I overcome the fear of failure and rejection while working on self-improvement? It involves reframing failures as opportunities for growth, setting realistic expectations, focusing on the process rather than the outcome, cultivating resilience, embracing vulnerability, and seeking support from others. It also involves challenging perfectionistic tendencies and recognizing that failure is a natural part of the learning process. Six, are there any potential risks or pitfalls to be aware of when diving deep into self-reflection and self-improvement? They include becoming overly self-critical, developing unhealthy coping mechanisms, feeling overwhelmed or discouraged by setbacks, comparing oneself to others, and neglecting self-care. It's important to approach self-reflection with self-compassion, patience, and a willingness to seek help when needed. Seven, how can I cultivate self-compassion and acceptance while acknowledging my insecurities and flaws? It involves treating oneself with kindness, understanding, and non-judgment. It entails acknowledging imperfections as part of being human, reframing negative self-talk into positive affirmations, practicing mindfulness and self-care, and seeking validation from within rather than relying on external sources. Eight, what role do societal pressures and unrealistic standards play in exacerbating insecurities and flaws? It is perpetuating unrealistic ideals of beauty, success, and happiness. They can create a sense of inadequacy and fuel comparison to others, leading to increased self-criticism and dissatisfaction. Recognizing and challenging societal norms, practicing self-acceptance, and surrounding oneself with supportive communities can help mitigate the impact of societal pressures.
Nine, how can I build resilience and confidence in myself despite facing setbacks and challenges on my self-improvement journey? It involves reframing setbacks as learning opportunities, focusing on strengths and accomplishments, setting achievable goals, seeking support from others, practicing self-care, and cultivating a growth mindset. It also involves acknowledging progress, celebrating small victories, and embracing the journey of personal growth. 10. What resources or support networks are available for individuals struggling with insecurities and flaws during their self-improvement process? They include therapy, support groups, self-help books, online forums, coaching or mentoring programs, mindfulness practices, and workshops or seminars focused on personal development and self-compassion. Seeking guidance from trusted friends, family members, or professionals can also provide valuable support and perspective. Overall, the ugly side of self-improvement highlights the importance of acknowledging and accepting one's vulnerabilities as an essential step towards genuine growth and self-fulfillment. It encourages individuals to embrace the discomfort of self-reflection and confront their insecurities with courage and compassion. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Career Momentum, where success meets inspiration. Like and subscribe for more.